glitch. So you, uh, me and you were talking on the phone, and... We it, talk a lot. Yeah, um, so what... <laughs> he says as he interrupts me. Yeah. <laughs> um, we wanted to kind of talk about, uh, like, the state of the game, and... Post-ordering it, chaos. It's finally hit this point where it's been this thing that I've tried to explain, where yeah. you're not going to be able to go to a tournament and expect anything. Like pretty much, yeah. It's at that point like it's it's gotten it's the it's the singularity of the game, the 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 I don't know, the it's a transcendence now. Like there is no, I like that. There is no like that. there's no there's no there's no combination of decks where you're going to show up and be like, "Oh god, the entire tournament I'm going to be playing against Andy Fastro Biotics this entire time." The Game is now just blown wide open. Yeah, and there's so many possibilities out there now. And and with that too. So suck it, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say anything about Bash of Iron because I play that a lot. But suck it, Andy. But the thing is now, like before, like even at Worlds, like if you took, there were no real hard counters to good decks. You no. know what I mean? So if no, you no, no. took, if you took Bash Biotics, and and Andy. There's generally not any like there's there's better decks to suit it, but now yeah. we like me and you feel that there's hard counters to sp to almost every deck, even even tier one decks. Yeah, and the oh, hard yeah. counters might not even be tier one. No, uh, gone are the days in which you can create a deck and then defend that deck against everything that's out there. Uh, gone are the days in which you can sit down with something like faster biotics. Mm -hmm. And then somebody looks at it and goes, well, what's the counter to this? And you go, nothing. This thing has an 89% win rate against everything out there. It's not the case anymore. Um, I, I was talking to you about this thing and saying how uh, people are trying to, like your, your brand new Max deck that just won you a sword championship. Mm -hmm. um, people are talking about how is this going to win against X? How is this going to win against uh, a Glacier Blue Sun build? And the answer to that is, you gotta pray for the best. Yeah, like, there's, n there's a counter out there to everything. And it's not even like, it, like me and you were talking about not even specific cards. Like, obviously there's specific cards that help yeah. progress a win against a specific deck. Yeah. But, to say like, yes, I, like, I, I love my max deck. Yeah. Um, it's very powerful. I uh, hate it's, playing it. It's very fun to pilot. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I don't think it's the best deck you could play, period. Because I think that anybody who's going to try and... Like, if, if we stick to the same kind of mentality that we have, like, okay, let's say that Max replaced Andy, and Max is now the top, like, echelon of, yep. of running, right? So now everybody's going to try to do this thing where they counter Max. Yeah. Now, me and you were talking about my Provoke to Purge deck, which yeah. we both really, really worked... Like, me and you worked on a lot together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, obviously, I had a lot of help from everybody else. But that Provoke to Purge deck almost flat-out counters the decks that counter the Max, Max deck. deck. Exactly. And that deck is not bad. It might not be, like, extremely Tier 1. Like, it's probably Tier 1.5. Yep. But... If everybody's <coughs> taking decks that kit against Max, this deck becomes tier one because yeah. it beats those decks almost flat out. Exactly, and it's the the reverse of it as well. Anything that's out there that you're like a corporation you're building to counteract the provoke to purge sort of deck, Max is probably going to run all over. And now these are just two decks. Like, yeah. I mean, we're using my decks as examples primarily because you're watching us and and, and because he loves himself. <laughs> you you bring it up all the time too. <laughs> I am a, a bit of a I brainwash now. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, you it's out. all I much. see or hear about. Anymore. It's that tape that I put on before you go to sleep. <laughs> it's it's like white noise and then it turns into me talking. It to starts you. off as like Pearl Jam <laughs> and then just turns into him softly whispering his decks into my ear for eight hours. <laughs> Like, my decks aside, like, that's the thing. Like, Andy is still a phenomenal build. It's, yes. It's the consistency, and there are going to be people who still love playing their Andy deck. And it's fine. It's not that it's worse now. Yeah. It's just that, again, post-Ordering Chaos, Ordering Chaos is finally, I'm going to say finally the big box that has changed, has reshaped how decks are being made. Yeah. Because both factions got huge power cards in it. Unlike with Honor and Profit or Creation Control, where 
it was shifted towards one of the factions than the other. Like, uh, Creation Control, where Shapers got a huge boost, and HB just got some filler cards. Well, we, we, we've talked about this too before. Like, those were to expand the faction, not yes. necessarily make the faction more uh, tournament. Yeah, but Order of Chaos was there to fix two stagnant yeah. factions, essentially. Yeah. They, were, they were the worst factions that were in the game. Order of Chaos comes out and just flips the table. Anarchs have exploded. They're everywhere mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. There's so many different builds that you can do. And it's not... It, I don't feel like it's like that new shiny, like, oh my no. god, these are new no, no, cards. No. Like, I feel that these cards are, like, really, really powerful. Yeah, it's, not the, it's not like Silhouette. There was that, nothing against that Silhouette that won that Regionals right after Honor yeah. Profit came out, but it was literally the new shiny. Yeah. I mean, I I remember trying to play that deck two months after it came out, and I was like, this... This just doesn't work. People know what I'm everybody's, doing. Yeah, everybody Everyone knew it. It, it, was, yeah. it was just that surprise factor. I really don't think that the the decks that are coming out of Order of Chaos are the new shiny. Yeah. It's nothing that they're like, oh, well, the only reason you won is because people weren't expecting it. It's it's not. Like, you can tell that just because people looked at the Max deck or any of the Max Eater, Keyhole, Siphon decks that are out there, and it's not like, oh, well... Had I known you were playing that, or had yeah. I had more time to look, I don't look at spoilers. So I, no, no, no. People have been trying to figure out a counter since the spoiler came out in November. Yeah. I was playing it on gentechie.net, and I was playing against people who were, who who knew what I was doing, yeah. and they were playing counters to it. Like, I was yeah. playing an HB recursion, <coughs> uh, like, an HB recursion deck that was built on, like, playing Architect, yeah. and recurring out Christium Grids, and getting Christium Grids all the time, and... And like those decks existed, it's 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 hard to talk about. Like, let's not talk about the max deck. Let's just talk about in general. In general, yeah. So let's say right now that the overarching. I totally disagree with all these comments, but let's say right now that um, Swordsman and Christium Grid, um, and we'll go as far to say as Cerebral Static, which is yeah, another really good Cerebral Static. So let's say I'm running all three of those cards in my deck. Now, as an Andy player, and somebody who kits their deck towards Andy, and, or just plays like the standard, the deck, you know yeah. what I mean? Andy the deck. Yeah. That deck doesn't really lose a lot of steam. It loses it? nothing to that. Um, it might lose late game account siphons, but, Possibly, yeah. but there's no real, like there's, there's nothing to it. But now... Not, it wouldn't even lose late game account siphons because they're not you like... They're just going to go, okay, well, you just slipped a Christium Grid, or I know that that's a Christium Grid there, because I saw it in your hand. Yeah. I'll just run at HQ normally. I'll yeah, just true. use I'll use my HQ interface to run at it, and then trash it, and now I'll account siphon you. Yeah. So, these these decks, these, like, hard counters to specific decks, I don't think, I just don't think they work. Um, I'm more of a fan of creating something, like, broad. Like, that's why yeah. I, I, I like the max deck. But, I mean, I built it. Um, uh, and and I feel like it does what I want to do. It it do, it's not a super aggressive. It's not built to run every turn. Like you know me from from our magic days. Like I am a control type of player, and I like to do yeah. um like um like sniping turns where it's like okay uh, I'm gonna do this this and this and this and set up towards like I don't know keyholing five times or after you've built up all your ice, I'm gonna want destruction, <coughs> or now I'm gonna Hades Shard, or Retrieval Run. Like, that's how I yeah. like that deck. And and in the other sense, like my Provoked Purge deck, is a counter deck towards like Fast Advance, um, you know, yep. like getting Chikana up to three tokens every turn, and, and preventing like just the general flow, because a lot of people are talking about Argus Security as like a really good counter to Max. Well, Nearpad and Nearpad. These are these are both by the way, really good decks. By the way, everybody who's out there who's like, no, no, no the counter to Max is Chrisium Grid and Swordsman. No, it's Nearpad. The it's it's punishing runs using stuff like Hostile Infrastructure. They're never going to want a keyhole. You get one or two of those things up, and they're like, no, screw it, I don't want to keyhole this. Yeah. Uh, you uh, tag them, and then you have dedicated response team in your deck. They're never going to want to run at anything. I still haven't. It's, I mean, we haven't played in a while, but I had I wasn't able to beat the no. Nearpad deck with my Max deck. I, when we first started to test your Max deck out, I was throwing all of the standard stuff at it and just flopping. I was losing like crazy, and I, 
I was racking my brain and I was like, this is the end of time. You, tried, end is you tried Tenon Institute with the Caprice and Christian yeah, bread and, and I still yeah, that. Yeah, it still, it still won. And then uh, we were just on Netrunner DB and he's like, well, try this deck out. It seems like a lot of fun. So I threw Neopad together and it just trounced him. Yeah. And it was literally because you're punishing runs. So you know what? Swordsman is Swordsman's a great speed bump. Christian Grid is a great speed bump. Cerebral Static, a great speed bump. But if you want to have Max sit there and go, crap, what the hell am I going to do? Punish the run. Yeah. Punish running, punish trashing. And But the main thing you're not punishing is Max herself. No. Like, we've gone on camera a ton of times and said Nearpad is fucking awesome deck. I love that Because deck. it is. It doesn't matter what you're playing against. Except... Wizard. Wizard and Provoke to Purge and decks like that yeah. that uh, actually kind of don't really care about running at all. Yeah. So... That's the that's the two inverses, and these are the decks that brought up like really this conversation. We can yeah. we can end it here, but I mean like these aren't the only decks. These are just the two like these two decks that that that, that exist right now are on complete opposite yeah. scales, and I mean they're they're both good against all decks, but yeah. they counter each other's counter. Yeah, which is which is unheard of right now. Yeah. Like that's not that's not how the game has been. This is we're finally into the netrunner that that you know like I explained to you I was like this is how the game's gonna be yeah this is right from the get go yeah and and this is how I got a lot of my friends into the game um and, like me and, and yeah I feel like we're finally here yeah yeah so pretty much if you're going onto a, a website that people can post decks like netrunner DB and you read somebody's deck and your immediately your immediate thought is wait. How does this Shaper deck then beat PE? And you're then forcing the person to be yeah. like, okay, well now I need to put these cards into my deck. You're watering their deck down. The, the it's, it's the conversation, it's like, okay, I have my deck list here. And then person in the comments goes, what does it do against this, this, and this? And then I go, well, probably lose. But then what if I build a deck that has this, this, and this to counter your new deck? Like. We do this whole like yeah, it's a wish wash. It's a wish wash. Yeah, it kind of at the end of the day, it's it's like we're jerking each other off. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yes, Chrisium Grid is is a good card, but is it good in every deck? Does it actually stop Max? Does it stop Andy? Does it stop Noise? Does it stop you know Shapers? And I don't think it stops Shapers at all. Like no, prepaid no. Kate. Does I I haven't even like. Fully thought of this, but I don't think it does anything against prepaid. Game. None of those counters does anything to my Chaos Theory deck. See, and your Chaos Theory deck is amazing. It, it was great before Order and Chaos, and now that people are so terrified of Max and they're putting in Swordsman and Christian Grids and stuff like that, I, I just look at them like, okay, I'm not playing Max. I have nothing to worry about with this. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're trying to say. Is like every deck now has a counter to it. And I love it. Yeah. I love knowing that I can go with whatever the hell I want. And yeah. there's going to be a deck that I'm going to just destroy because their deck was built to do something that my deck will just get around. Yeah. And I love the fact that I'll go into a tournament and have a deck out there that I'm like, crap, this is the exact match I did not want to look at, in which... That's pretty much going to be my response now. Anytime I put anything onto Netrunner DB, unless they can point like giant flaws in it, if it's like I put my Chaos Theory deck out there and they go, well, how do you beat Replicating Perfection? Uh, my response is going to be cross my fingers and pray that they don't have a good game. Yeah, because pretty much like that's what you do. Yeah. No, well, so I, I have a good game against Replicating Perfection. Well, I mean, I'm just you, saying, for you, example, you can right? even see that that example in Worlds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Dander Genio. He knew that everybody was going to be kidding towards NEH, and he took Replicating Perfection because it was strong against Andy. Yeah. And ta-da, we have a new world yeah. champion. So yeah. um, I think that concludes all of our random thoughts and conversations about Hopefully. this topic. So. Hopefully. People are going to watch this video and be like, will they just shut up? Like, what are they, what are they talking about anymore? <laughs> what else could they do after they watch this video? They can like us on Facebook and subscribe to YouTube. That'd be, That'd be fantastic. Leave a comment down below if you agree or you don't agree. And uh, yeah. And if you don't agree, you're dead to us. <laughs> Talk to you later. See ya.
antibiotics. Somebody destroying the kitchen. <laughs> We're shooting a video here. <laughs>